Hello. In this video, I'm going to provide a short demonstration of Cox regression using an SPSS example data file that's called Recidivism. This is a hypothetical data file that concerns a government law enforcement agency's efforts to understand recidivism rates in their area of just jurisdiction. So each case corresponds to a previous offender and records their demographic information, some details of their first crime, and then the time until their second arrest, if it occurred within two years of the first arrest. So I'm going to make a link to this underneath the video description, and I'm also going to have a link to the data file as well. This is it right here. Um, so I'm going to run the analysis and then um, and just kind of walk you briefly through some of the output. I'll also include a copy of the output file underneath the video description, so or a link to that uh, output file under, under the video description, so you can download it and follow along if you want. So our data that we are working with, uh, we have first of all we have time, which is the time to the second arrest. We have the arrest to variable, which is essentially our status variable, where a value of zero indicates uh, no second arrest. A value of one indicates that a second arrest was observed. We're going to use gender, which is coded zero male, one for female. And we're also going to include um, violent first crime um, variable as well. So basically, if their first crime was violent or not, that variable is coded zero for no and one for yes. We'll also include age as a covariate in the model as well. So let me go under data view here, and these are the variables again. And so what we're going to do is go to analyze, go down to survival, and then go to Cox regression. We'll click on that button right here. And we'll go ahead and kind of reset this and walk through. So I'm going to move the time to second arrest variable to the time box. We're going to move our second arrest variable, which is our status or censoring variable. I'm going to move over to status. Define event. We are going to set this as 1 because 1 on that particular variable indicates that uh, a second arrest was observed within the observation period. We'll click on continue. Then we're going to move age over here. We're going to move gender over here as well. And then we're also going to move the violent first crime variable over to block uh, this block as well. So next we'll just go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and click under options and ask for hazard ratios or confidence intervals for the hazard ratios. We'll click on continue and then on OK and we get our output. So in our output, first off, we have the initial chi-square test, which is testing whether our model containing the full set of predictors is a significant improvement in fit over a null or intercept-only model. So if this p-value right here is indicating significance, then that would indicate that we have a model that is fitting significantly better than uh, the null model, and that happens to be the case. Then we look at the variables in the equation, and specifically each of these are our covariates within the model. You can see that the slope for age and years is negative, and basically what we're doing is we're, we are predicting the hazard for that second um, arrest. And so if this slope is negative, that's going to indicate that it's individuals, individuals who are older uh, in our sample are less at risk of a second arrest than individuals who are younger. And you can see that that predictor was statistically significant within the model. We see gender has a negative slope as well. And basically, uh, again, this variable was coded 0 for male and 1 for female. And you see this variable was not statistically significant within the model. But the slope, had it been significant, would be an indication that basically males were at greater uh, risk of uh, second arrest than females. But again, that variable is not significant in the model. Then we have violent first crime as a predictor in the model. And you can see that it was statistically significant. Uh, this variable is coded 0 for uh, no and 1 for yes. So basically, the positive coefficient is indicating that individuals who were arrested uh, and who had committed uh, a first uh, crime that was violent were at greater risk of, of um, being arrested a second time than individuals who uh, were not involved in a violent first crime. So that is uh, just a very quick demonstration of how to carry out Cox regression using SBSS. Thank you for watching.